good morning everyone welcome to chessroots.com okay today i'm gonna show you a game a, a game played between uh, Pickett and vaseline topolo in the year 1999 it was a wiki and tournament okay here uh, topolo played a uh, um, bingo gambit which most which uh, most of the high level players pr won't be preferring bingo gambit against a equal opponent uh, from white side uh, after getting the pawn uh, they will f uh, they will try to defend with an extra pawn so benko gambit is basically of d4 knight of 6 c4 c5 d5 b5 and c into b5 now here black plays uh, a6 b a6 and now black will gain with bishop a6 and try to open a and b file with a with a counter good good great counter chances <coughs> so meanwhile white will tries to play knight c3 uh, like most knight c3 uh, some will play e4 uh, f4 and tries to with e5 the thing is uh, when white tries to break with e5 without any problem then white will be having a, a good great advantage in the in any bingo gambit variation so black tries to seize this and will will be playing very fast and developing and preventing of uh, white plans so g6 knight c3 bishop a6 so uh, if a uh, black doesn't take bishop a6 he simply plays e4 and protects his pawn and later if bishop a6 uh, like this uh, for example if we play d6 uh, e4 now if you take bishop a6 still white will gain uh, tempo by doing the castling on the king side and this position uh, is very comfort for white because he'll play rook e1, rook e2, or defend the pawn, and later he'll play bishop f4, open this file to rook b1, b3, or queen c2, or even bishop b2 will exchange this bishop. Later he tries to push e5, and white will get an uh, advantage. So bishop a6, uh, now knight f3. Okay, this is a typical line where uh, white wants to castle and so to do castle he will play g3 bishop g2 and castles where black bishop will have a good chances uh, to attack um, on the e file where he will castle play rook e1 and then e4. This bishop, uh, this in this particular variation uh, black cannot get open files very easily because this uh, bishop on c a6 is very much active but will not give black a chance to open up the files so bishop g7 g3 d6 bishop g2 and bd7 here he played rook b1 a very interesting good move the first idea of this rook b1 is to get away from this diagonal and this diagonal and the second thing is to support the b2 pawn which is a must uh, in this opening and later he can develop his bishop to b2 and exchange the bishop on g7 so uh, uh, there is a one more plan like uh, b3 and a4 trying to limit the black counters on the queen side so rook b1 is a good prophylactic move uh, an interesting idea so here he played castle and castle after uh, he played knight b6 with the idea uh, maybe of knight c4 or e5 or maybe um, developing his queen to c7 later rook b1 so here white played uh, um, b3 with the idea of preventing knight c4 and even bishop b2 uh, to exchange this bishop on g7 see here benko gambit black bishop on c1 doesn't really have a good square in any other opening except to open on bishop b2 and exchange the b bishop on g7 
the bishop if uh, bishop goes um, anywhere like f4 or g5 it hardly don't be a very good square or not a permanent square for this bishop or it can't do anything on this type of structure where black uh, will try to uh, <coughs> open up uh, in the queen side if the bishop will exchange on uh, g7 then white will have a very easy gameplay so he played rook a7 with the idea queen a8 and rook the other rook to b8 so after queen a8 a4 see it limits the restriction of the pieces after queen a8 this a2 pawn will never be under attack so he can easily play bishop b2 and later rook e1 and e4 he wants to maintain this pawn so queen a8 uh, the idea of it uh, of this uh, there is no way to uh, prevent uh, except if you if you can't play e4 this rook is hanging on f1 so knight d2 uh, doesn't look so good now blocking this pawn so knight e1 is uh, is also not so good after knight e1 there is no good square for the knight so he played a move knight h4 an interesting idea supporting the pawn on d5 this knight uh, is temporarily out of gameplay but uh, soon when he started playing rook e1 e4 then he'll come back knight to f3 d2 or c4 so he played rook b1 rook b8 bishop b2 knight bd7 and trying to attack this b2 pawn so he played bishop a1 supporting the pawn supporting the b3 pawn so after he played knight e5 queen c2 rooks rook f b7 rook f d1 okay now in this position uh, before a uh, few moves back uh, black uh, can try uh, a good counter chance with c4 for example uh, in this position after knight e5 maybe after bishop e1 knight e5 he could have played um, rook b4 with the idea of playing c4 and maybe knight c5 will be uh, at least a good try even though no, this position white can still uh, be okay for example knight a2 rook b8 and rook e1 with the idea of e4 or even uh, exchanging this bishop later can come to knight f3 d2 like this to c4 so there are many plans so here he played queen c2 rook a b1 rook f d1 and queen a7 now black played bishop f1 try to exchange the bishop on a6 which is a very good bishop knight e8 so here uh, mm, i think white played uh, black played a mistake with knight e8 and the better is he could have tried with c4 after c4 bc4 bishop c4 and bishop b3 will be a threat and after rook go, rook into b7 uh, even knight into c4 rook b7 rook b7 and b5 and white will be a little better so after rook b7 rook b7 uh, this position can be equal uh, hardly have any advantage for both so he played knight uh, knight e8 which is a mistake and white immediately saw this move and played knight e4 knight e4 rook b6 knight d2 now he is trying to fix this knight on c4 later exchange this bishop knight d7 
bishop g7 king g7 knight h3 knight f6 and knight e4 so after e4 now the position becomes a uh, very solid for white the pawn uh, on d5 is no more a weakness and this c4 is uh, fully controlled by the white so there is no way that black can achieve any positional advantage from this position so play rook b4 bishop into a6 queen into a6 and knight c4 after knight c4 he played knight b6 trying to exchange this knight and knight d2 knight d7 okay now see this position of this knight both knights uh, are trying to occupy the square uh, once if you capture knight on c4 this knight will come to c4 or if you capture this knight on c b6 the d7 knight will come to b6 so this is a typical knight maneuvering where one knight will be replaced by other knight and that will be a kind of weakness once if you spot uh, this so here black um, black is trying to uh, equalize with the knight b6 knight b6 and later he can push c4 with uh, a good chance for a drop position so black white doesn't want a position to end in a draw so instead this knight on d7 will be passive if if you won't capture the knight on b6 so he played knight a3 a very good move a very good positional move now this knight on d7 is very bad when there is no capture on b6 the rooks all the coordination of pieces are lagging so he played knight f6 queen c3 pinning the piece so knight fd knight bd7 and knight c2 rook in 4b7 knight c4 uh, i think in this position uh, white uh, is slowly uh, trying to occupy the b5 b5 square with knight a3 knight b5 cut down all the pieces and later he can push f4 e5 and create an advantage uh, okay so he played uh, king g8 um, removing from the pin and f3 giving additional support to c4 now see all the black all the white pieces uh, are very well supported and now there is no counter chances any no counter chances at all for black so he played rook 8 he don't have any other moves so he's just uh, uh, trying to see what is white going to do uh, so rook b2 he's doubling the rook and maybe trying to open on any other files like this he can double anywhere like this knight b6 knight in 2 e3 knight c4 knight c4 um, here uh, i think uh, uh, topolo played uh, rook b4 which is uh, i think it's a mistake uh, he's not he's not uh, uh, protecting the opponent plan instead of uh, rook b4 uh, i suggest knight d7 uh, will still be a good position for white but although this position can you can fight a little bit so with a5 so after this e5 and d5 queen e5 uh, wins the game very easily queen queen b7 and d6 and he blundered here by taking queen f3 in time trouble rook f1 queen e4 and d e7 so queen e5 knight e5 and this position is a clear winning for white after rook e4 rook d2 trying to become queen and rook e8 knight c4 rook e6 and rook f6 here Topolo resigns. So this is a good game uh, in Benko Gambit uh, where White. Uh, I hope you enjoy the game. See you in the next.